We're at the American Frontier Days at FDR State Park this weekend, and it's a big event. Let me show you around. We're at the Frontier Days at FDR State Park, and this is the big event area where they've got all of the tents set up, and everyone is here. Let me show you around. Uh, Dan McMichael told me about this, so uh -huh. I, I came. I, I like to sew, so I sew the oh. some colonial clothing. Uh, wow. Women's, men's. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much this style of dress. They call this a uh, Celtic dress. Beautiful. It laces down the front, so it's more of a one size adjustment in there. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. fitting exactly. I do some men's, riches, uh, waistcoats, frontier or frock. Uh -huh. frocks is oh. Mm -hmm. uh, things like that that are for reenactors and then just because I like to do odds and ends I have things for everyone that comes awesome uh, tote bags uh, adult bibs aprons crochet hats uh, headbands mm -hmm. just things like that uh, crochet necklaces those are beautiful kids like uh, mm -hmm. just anything and everything I like to use up all the scraps of fabric when I have anything left over that's where some of this stuff comes from is the awesome. leftovers. Awesome. Um, like I said, I just it's fun to get out here and see meet people and uh, That's right. And they're always very friendly to reenactors so you know if you ask them questions they can tell you why their clothing is the way it is and things mm -hmm. like that. So I like doing that. So. This is a, a neat place to come. I, I came out here uh, last year in November, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I also came in March, but it seems like they've expanded just a little bit. They have, well, they've moved out space a little more, and they probably have more individual tents here. They mm -hmm. have a few that they call sutlers that are selling, you know, set up as a store. And they're right. There's a lady down there with herbs and uh, oh. natural. Uh, didn't stop in. I, she was talking to several people when I walked by, but I heard her telling it was all natural ingredients, uh, original recipes from the time period. They're trying to do from like 1700s through about 1840. Awesome. Um, mm -hmm. And I used to sew Civil War clothing, so that kind of put my Civil War clothing out of it, but I like sewing Colonial too. So. Right, right. This is an old wagon from the era. As you can see, it's got period items on it. I love this canteen. These are some trade beads, various furs. These are some demonstrations going on here. All kinds of beautiful demonstrations on leatherworks, sheets. That is beautiful. Thanks for showing us. You're welcome. Hand beaded and hand handmade knife sheets. I love your regalia. Thank you. <laughs> They're about to demonstrate axe throwing. Oh, he missed. Here's a period campfire. Tell me how you made your campfire. Just dug it out and dug it out a little bit and let it go. That is awesome. I see you got some boiled peanuts in there. All right, all right. Well that's awesome. I'll eat some. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Pit over, over top of this. Various furs. Here's some period wares. There's some feather fans. Some dance sticks. Some antlers. There's a jacket up there. These are the kind of houses they lived in or camped in back then. Enjoying my Boiled peanuts. Here's a nice display of the cooking area. 
with all kinds of cooking ware, spice racks. Some beautiful necklaces, gemstone necklaces. I don't know what she's called this one. She's not a good dog. This is a beautiful place. Thank you. I love y'all's pouches and everything. Are you? Let's go see what else is down this way. A nice campfire with the colonial tent. Period reenactors. <laughs> Here they're trying to saw a log. Here's a tent. <laughs> There's a gator head. There's something good cooking there. There's some skins. <laughs> More campfires. Log split. Here's some beautiful necklaces and trade beads. Yeah, I know the Cherokee traded with y'all. Cherokee and Creek. Mm -hmm. The Creek. Muskogee Creek. And Porch Creek. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, thank you. I'm going to come back around with my mom and bring her around. She'll be meeting y'all. <laughs> Somebody's not happy. No. <laughs> and here's some more interesting things. Some pouches, some medicine pouches. Some carry pouches. Shotguns, knife sheaths. Some axes. Or I should say tomahawks. Campfire. Sure. <laughs> sure, I'll take some. And then down here, you can get some barbecue. Barbecue sandwiches, barbecue burgers, barbecue turkey legs. You can get you a bottle of water. You can bring your kids over here to play on the playground. And we're almost there. Let me show you what this place looks like. Offer over here. What do y'all have to offer? You get it right there. Yum. Barbecue, sausage dogs, hot dogs, Brunswick stew. It's very delicious. Yep. This is what it looks like on the back side of the American Frontier Day. You can see all the tents set up. Everyone just enjoying their day out here. And it's a beautiful day. This concludes our country.